Okay, I'm back again another, for another Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, so we, well, we went through, you know, Twilight Town for a little bit and a little bit half through Hollow Bastion. Now we're on the next part. So, proceeding forward! Also, we loaded up the list of form too, so that was pretty cool. Ooh, another AP boost. Maybe I might be able to do something with increase. Stitch, what you doing up there, buddy? Handsome. Wow, what a dude. Puts a portrait of himself on the wall. Gorge. I guess this must be his room. Where's the, Where's the bed? Where's the bed? This is his room. Hello? Hey, you. Hi, Tifa. I'm looking for somebody. Have any of you seen a guy with spiky hair? Says every anime. That sits every anime. <laughs> Spiky. I'll just take a look around. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> the fact that she's in the game. Uh, what's she looking around for? There's a treasure chest there. <sighs> What'd you think kicking down a wall would do? Sorry to bother you. No bother, man. Are they that pissed because she can kick? Goofy's like that ass. So you made it. What the hell? Where'd you come from? What the hell? It's like you came out of nowhere, goddamn Leon. Is my audio on? Okay, it's still on. Sorry. I don't know why. I, I have to fix this. Okay. Alrighty. Got the skill recipe. Anyways. What is it? Isn't the king with you? You'll see him soon enough. What the fuck does that mean? Hey. Here's... Here's the odd to tide you over. Are you kidding me? She just kicked off to the upper. She got on her upper right. Ansem's computer. 
What the fuck? Holy hell. Okay. This is it. Where's Kyrie? Nintendo Wii. Where's Riku? I don't think the computer knows it. <laughs> Easy. I mean, people don't know how to you use people are so it. used to touch screens. Oh. Sorry. That's actually guess I got a little Actually I'm gonna pause that for what I just said there right there. So that's actually a real story that my tenth grade teacher said once is that we're so used to having touch screen technology that younger kids some younger kids don't know how to use a computer. But I don't know. I just thought that was an interesting story. What Sora did was actually kind of funny. But anyways, enough of that, I guess. Carried away. Whoa! Huh? Whoa! Hi, hey, Stitch! Get out from there! <laughs> Soon enough, Stitch. Attention, current user. This is a warning. Further misuse of this terminal will result in immediate defensive action. Who's there? I am the master control program. I oversee oh. this system. No, Where are you? Can't be from Tron. Donald. Donald. I'm sorry. Decision gate breached. You are now under arrest. Arrest? Run! <laughs> yep, you guessed it, guys. It's our final Disney World. We did our final Disney World, guys. This is Space Paranoid. It's based off the world of Tron. Although, funny enough, name of the arcade game. Although, I don't think this was really called Space Paranoids. I don't know. Either we had to reference the title somehow. Anyway. So, yes. This is world is based off Tron. Uh, 1982. And from, from 1980s. From 1982, I think. Right? Is it 82? 82 or 83. Um... This movie is so underrated. I oh, love I'm this Joe movie. Boss. It's so it's so beautifully detailed for its time. It was amazing. Oh, Who hello, are you? Sark. I am Commander Sark. You sound like Shockwave. Commander. Hmm. Observe. Oh shit! He could de-res them okay, with a snap of the his boss. fingers. I get it. This is fucking smart. Anyways, Tron. What can I say about it? It's... I mean, I say it's underrated because it's something I like. But to say I can suggest it to others is kind of rough to say. Like, you really gotta understand, like, computer and technology. But it is just a very beautiful movie put together. Very ahead of its time. Man, what kind of world is this anyway? But I wholly recommend it. It's on inside Disney a Plus. mainframe computer. But the fact system. that they were able to bring this a in and reference this into with Tron somehow is amazing. For processing data. Hi, Tron. This system is a copy of one created by a corporation called Encom. The original program was destroyed. So eventually, this Encom copy was, was a thing by another in user. universe. The new user updated and customized the programs, renaming the system Hollow Bastion OS. So basically, Encom, so this is a copy of that, of the original research. Encom system before My Jeff Bridges came in and helped out with Tron. And I'm a security I'm sure that it's MCP. But now I'm under arrest. So essentially, yeah, this is a copy. So this is a total, this is not the same Tron. Anything? It's not the same Sark and not the same MCP. You know, maybe we should just introduce ourselves. But anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about the original film for now. Nice the sequel you, will be mentioned Boy, another time. No, that configuration, you must be users. Users? You'd better get out of here quickly. Who knows what the MCP Man, will do? This to you. world is just. MCP? I love this world. 
the master it gives it really the program. vibe of how it was in the movie. Make it even kind of bigger on a grander scale. It controls just, the whole system. Also, just, I just love how idle Sora Dom will be derezzed. Actually, got like an so actual So, how do we get out of here? This terminal could have gotten you back to the user world. What? You could have just but told Jeff Bridges that. Cut the power 50 microcycles ago. <sighs> if we could bring the energy core in the canyon online, we could power it back up. The problem is, we're stuck in this cell. We're not going anywhere unless we unlock the energy fields. Also, the Keyblade also changes color, too, to being more appropriate to Tron. Master Control, why not just derez Tron? I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. You're dismissed, Sark. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system or else. End of line. End of line. Acknowledged. Seems you have a unique functions. I'll go with you to the camp. You'll need someone who can interface with the energy core, right? If you say so. Thanks, Tron. I'll keep Donald along. Okay, so Tron. Wow, this has been a lot of moves. Yet. Since we have a moment here before Heartless yeah. start populating around here, huh. let's get all the treasure chests out in this area. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Also, even the walking, you know, sounds like, you know, you're walking around and stuff. That's pretty cool. Okay. Huh. Okay, Tron. Lay down me, buddy. Is that how that works? <laughs> the baby light in this case. 
its power. Okay. Mission accomplished. Yes. Now we. Now will you do something for me? <clears throat> you got it. Don't you know? Don't you want to hear it? What it is first? You helped us, Tron. Now it's our turn. You guys are really hard users. Your actions are totally illogical. Let's hurry back to the pit cell. Where is that again? That's the sector where we met. Roger. Research lab. Okay, let's go back. So, what did you want us to do? Find my user. He'll give you the password to access the DTD. You're back! So, um... DTD is the name my user gave to the data space. Copies of all the original system programs are stored there, along with anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Hmm, most likely. A number of my functions were appropriated when I last took on the MCP. That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Hmm. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually, I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to find your user and ask him. What's his name? Uh, who's that guy? I mean, you don't know? Yeah, it's like, I know the movie, My but it's like, I kind of forget the characters, system. like the human characters, but Anson I the wise. character. I uh, what's him. his name? Uh, Flynn? Something Flynn? Uh, anyway. Looks like the um, MCP's on to us. I'll keep this terminal like up and running. Tron, you better MCU, exit the system before. now. Oh, no. Sure, um, but Tron, Ansem is... What looks in the password? Uh, Ooh. Okay, um, you're good to go. Hurry! Got the girl's name. There was the other guy. Um, something. You see, it's like I don't remember. Like, like, like I remember how the movie goes. I just don't remember the characters because they were kind of. Eh. We did it. Where have you been? Well, uh... There's a world inside this computer where these, um, programs live in. I think that's right. But you've already defeated Ansem. Gosh, maybe we'll never find the password. That means... This is all a wild goose chase. You're at the chase what now? Chasing what now? Well, well, a hidden room. I guess I'd better take another look around. Oh, she never left? Alright, bye Tifa. She just won't give up. Damn, Jesus! Stop trashing someone's room, bro! It's like if she's it's like if you were cheating on her, this is what she... Okay. <laughs> Excuse Sus. me?
would you think punching the... Oh, probably because, again, she didn't realize the... Okay, so I guess her reason is valid, I guess. Now she had to punch a wall. Anyways, uh, let's read what this says. Hollow What's this doodle? Main security, Tron, to door to darkness. Main security, Tron, door to darkness. to hide your password. Looks like a diagram or something. Door to darkness. Oh, D, T, D. <laughs> What's up? Look at this. This must be the data space. I cannot read the that. DTD. See? The door to darkness. That's what do you call this program? That's smart. What do you know? DTD. Right. That still leaves the password. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? Ha <laughs> ha! It's me, your dark emperor, Mickey Mouse. Oh, my Oh! Hiya, pal! What are you doing? Shh. Let's talk about the buyout! Let's talk about this door to darkness buyout! Get the fuck off me, Donald! Goofy, put me down, you miserable piece of shit! Long time no see! Shut the fuck up, all! I'm a millionaire! I don't want people to come going for my autographs! Uh -huh. Hiya, pal! Oh, oh, the door to darkness. Oh, uh, yes, sir. You see, we're looking for the secret password. So, can you imagine if, like, Mickey Mouse password? was like, a real character and he had to, like, hide around in the dark cloak, although his ears would give it oh, away? I guess you mean like a code. Well, the door to darkness can only be opened by the seven princesses. There's Snow White, Jasmine, and. By Belle. my seven of bitches! Course. <laughs> My seven princess bitches! What are you trying to do? With that password, we can get access to Ansem's research data. So that means you might be able to find out where he is. Uh, stop joking around, your majesty. We already defeated Ansem. You know that. Well, looks like I've got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, oh, boy. your majesty. Okay. But first, I've got a question. Hey, isn't Tron waiting for you guys? Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If those Heartless attack, I'll stand and fight with everybody here. Yeah, we will too. Then let's talk more later. That's a promise. I'll see you when you get back. Oh, and one more thing. Let me give you, give your clothes some the new power, Sora. Really? Ah, uh -huh. you bet you, you bet you, pal. I can't do Mickey's voice today. I'm a little congested. The freaking, let me tell you, these allergies, like last weekend, I was suffering through the goddamn allergies. I will, Sora. Ah, uh -huh. remember, and remember, be careful. And there we have Master Form. With the help of your two friends, use your dry form to change into Master Form. Now, Master Form is glorified version of Valor Form. And, um, we'll get that actually sorted out here real quick. Oh, okay, King of the Keyblades, sorry. So, it goes to go over before I call it apart, we'll talk about Master Form for a bit. So Master Form, it, so Master Form goes by how much of those little, little drives you've been picking up. So one point gives you one. So small orbs give you one point. Big drives give you three. And with the thanks of Master Form, if you level up, you will get uh, Aerial Dodge as a permanent thing up by level three. So we got two different forms we got to fill up now. We got to do. Um, yeah, you guys. Know. Okay, but for real, I'm gonna call it a part here. Um, we're gonna definitely call it a part. Um, I'm gonna go back to that room and save. We'll talk to King Mickey later. Uh, we're about to get into the BS in this. Oh, and there's a treasure chest here. Let's see what we got here. And we got the ukulele charm. We can now use Stitch as a summon. 
which I'll show off in the next part. I'll show off down the road. Anyway. Alright, y'all. Thank you so much again. Sorry for the long hiatus. Uh, this time, this time, I'm going to be on it this weekend, I assure you. Alright. Take care, guys. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you another time.